Okay, I'm finally here in Chiang Mai. Okay, now I'm walking towards the Grab pickup point. It's on the far side of the airport terminal. Uh, on the domestic terminal side. So I'm walking all the way to the end. So if you come up from the immigration, make sure you just turn left and yeah. So you turn left, walk all the way to the end. That's where the grab um, pickup point is. It's actually on the same building, but um, one side is the international and the other side is the domestic. As it will be Songkran soon, the Thai New Year, there are many festivities and events in the city. It will be very interesting to explore and experience this very special festival with the Thai people here in Chiang Mai. People look out for the signage and walk towards door 1. Oh my god, these girls are so cute and friendly. Not pushy at all. I just love the Thais. So you come up from door 1, walk to the bus stop, and you can see the green shelter that's where grab is so it's right there in front you can, you can see the sign which is quite obvious there's the grab pickup point at the Chiang Mai airport so this is also where the bus stop is yeah. so just come here and open your grab app is getting ready for Songkran. Opened in 2021, Travel Lodge Niman has a very modern looking interior. Decorated by nice. many artworks and sculptures in the hotel lobby and also around the hotel exterior. The hotel is located in the Niman area. Niman is one of the most popular areas in Chiang Mai. This area has a more modern vibes as compared to the old city. The Old City is another popular area in Chiang Mai as it has a more historical feel. I will be exploring both areas in my videos. Okay, like room tour. This is the cheapest room in Travel Lodge. It can cost less than 70 Singapore dollars per night, depending on the period of your travel. I love that the room is very clean, new and modern. The mattress is firm and comfortable, not too soft, which is good for my lower back. It has a simple mini bar with instant coffee and tea, mini fridge, and a small safe. The bathroom is also very clean, bright, and has all the basic amenities. The water pressure is very strong, which is very important to me, as some hotels' water pressure are quite weak. Not sure when showering lah.
the different uh, costumes. The, it's very colorful and it's very bright. And the festivity in the air is so strong. Yeah, you can see from here. I think I have to shout to, to make myself heard. If not, you can't hear me. It's, the atmosphere is so loud here. They are all moving towards the, the street down there. Hong Kong, which happens on April the 13th, marks the beginning of the Thai New Year. It is the largest festival in Thailand, and the celebration begins at home, in communities, in temples, and on the streets, which is widely known as the largest water festival in the world. I was born on Wednesday morning, so this is the Wednesday Buddha. So I'm going to pour the water on the Wednesday Buddha. This is the morning Buddha. So Wednesday there are two. No, no. Yes. <laughs> this is Wednesday. Well, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, sorry, I went to the wrong Buddha. No, Wednesday got two every day. This one. At the morning. Morning. At the after night. Night morning. Night. Okay, sorry, I went to the wrong Buddha. <laughs> this is the Wednesday morning Buddha. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yeah. And yeah. The blessing. <laughs> yes. No? Hi. Ah. Oh, here. Hey. Uh, yep. That's another Buddha here. I'm gonna pour into the bamboo pipe so that to plan. Yeah. Many wish and blessing for the new year. Yes. Yeah. Here, selling drinks and yeah, there's so much festivity here. So this is the festival here, this one. So basically, this is what's happening here, down here. As we continue exploring the city, Songkran festivities continues outside their homes, outside their shops, and the splashing of water signifies the cleansings of the old and welcoming the new. the street of uh, Old Town. Okay. Uh, it's very crowded here. See everybody is all drenched. I'm still a bit dry. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, people are so excited! 
looking at each other. It's hard not to get drenched. This is the famous Wan Iman Mall. There is water carnival here for the family and for the little ones. Everyone is having such a great time here and the kids are having so much fun. Continue walking towards Maya Mall at Ting Park. This is where the major street dance party happens every year. Every night from the 12th to the 16th of April, there will be guest DJs, pop singers, as well as popular dance groups performing. Overall, it was a very fun and crazy night. So sorry for all the screamings, but cannot help it lah. It was too fun that night. As I have previously experienced Songkran in Bangkok many years back, do come to Chiang Mai to experience Songkran next year. It was a totally different experience. And the people here are so friendly and welcoming. And celebrating it with my friends here makes a lot of difference. If you have enjoyed my video so far, please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. This will definitely help me a lot, as I am trying to reach my first 2000 subscribers goal target for my new channel. Please leave a comment below on what you like about my videos, or ways that I can improve upon them. Thank you for watching, and see you on my next video. Bye! bye, -bye.